Hello, we are S2W Talon team. We will give a presentation on Operation U-Turn related to the Kimsky Group. First, I'm Jackie Kim, now working at Blacksmith of Talon as a principal researcher. I'm mainly researching and tracking about APT threat actors. And this year is third time giving a presentation at VV. I hope that next year VV will be open in Prague. Hello, I'm Sojun Nyu at Blacksmith of Talon as a senior researcher. I used to research about APT threat actors, but I mainly focus focusing on cybercrime actors such as ransomware group. Of course, I am also interested in the APT actors. And I'm Kyungju Kwak, uh, director of S2W CTI group Talon. Uh, I'm mainly uh, interested in state-sponsored uh, threat actor, ransomware, and any cybercrime related things. As shown in the slide, you can see that what I talked about in the past. Let me tell you about our uh, CTI group briefly. Uh, we call our group as Talon. It is comprised of uh, three teams such as Blacksmith, Hassos, Unreal. As shown in the slide, in case of Blacksmith, this team is for APT intelligence threat actor tracking and detailed malware analysis. Next one is Hassos. They are uh, mainly focusing on deep dark web monitoring and cryptocurrency tracking by using our solution and many other OSINT tools. Uh, last one is Unreal. This team's goal is making impossible things possible and core, core technology research. Here is the agenda of our talk. Firstly, introduction. We will explain about Apple Seed, which is the backdoor of Kimsky Group, and next one is the main content of our talk, Operation Newton. We will show you uh, what the Operation Newton is with analysis of full chain attack that targeting scientific engineering researchers. Thirdly, we will uh, elucidate the correlation analysis results by using offset fail cases. Lastly, conclusion. Now here is the introduction. We will uh, focus on Kimsuki group today. This group is exposed to many threat hunters because their activities are very aggressive and I think they don't care about being discovered. Sometimes people said about Kimsuki like this, they are uh, persistent, but they are as hell are not advanced. However, we don't agree with that. It's only the view of threat hunter. Actual damage is more critical than we usually imagine. Now start talking about Apple Seed. Basically, this is the backdoor of the Kimsky Group. It was first observed in May uh, 2019. At that time, its distribution URL and IP is as shown in the slide. And here are PDB passes of Apple Seed. You can see this after decoding it. We already talked about these PDB passes at the VB uh, 2019. One of the big features of Apple Seed is double XOR decoding routine. It needs various strings for the execution of uh, malicious codes, including the encoded API function names. And this method of decoding after double XOR has been used continuously from the, uh, from the initial version. This specific decoding method can be said to be one of the uh, important factors when hunting and analyzing malicious codes. In addition, as mentioned before, double XOR decoding routine was included in the malware discovered in Operation Newton. The main characteristics of Apple Seed are briefly summarized as follows. In case of uh, masquerading and decoy using the normal name, like a uh, document software, something like that. And it registers registry uh, scheduler for automated execution for per persistence. Furthermore, it monitors the folder, keyboard, screen capture, USB continuously. Apple Seed communicate with C2 server to unload and download for data breach with fake 
PDF header and XOR encoding. But the encryption method has been recently changed to using RxA1 public key and not use server, just using email as C2 server. Example emails are as shown in the slide. According to several conference talks and analysis reports released by security researchers, Kimsky attacked uh, various industries. For example, uh, in case of government, especially uh, foreign governments, ministries, and diplomatic uh, missions, and national security, especially with regards to national security policy, defense, and North Korea related affairs. And next one is aerospace and defense, and also international relations and sanctions, nuclear uh, related policy. And last one is ac academia and research, especially in the nuclear space. Today, we are going to talk about the operation which targeted academia and research sector. During Investigate, the Operation Newton, we also found Appleseed Backdoor. For that reason, we call this incident as Operation Newton. Now, I will pass the mic to the surgeon. In November 2020, we conducted an analysis and instant response after obtaining intelligence on an instant that targeting scientific and engineering researchers. In this process, it was possible to catch the, the actual TTPs about the Gimsky Group's attack, which used apple seed, which was not known publicly. Through simple account hijacking and phishing mails, internal network control and lateral movement attacks were performed. And even during the actual response, Continuous attacks such as internet spear phishing through internet transmission were carried out. In the actual incident, an advanced exploit such as browser Jarday was not used, but a surprisingly simple vulnerability was used to increase the attack probability. Additionally, the sensitive information leaked through the phishing attack was exploited to take over multiple internet servers. This is an overview of Operation Newton. The first step starts by acquiring login credential ne necessary for webmail access through a spear phishing mail attack that can trigger a webmail vulnerability and send it to the phishing server. And then collect sensitive information from the leaked account. Next, the attacker collects VPN access information as well as server access account and use them to access the internet network. After that, download and execute a reverse share on an internet server that the attacker can access to. Next step is perform lateral movement using OLED collective server access account. For persistence, download and execute web shell, reverse share, and apple seeds through interpreter CNC server. Seventh step, Explains the stolen information from each server to the, to the external server. Finally, using already obtained credential information, the attacker sends additional spear phishing email containing Apple Seed malware to other insiders. The attacker sends a spear phishing email that can trigger a webmail vulnerability to an IT staff. When the email is opened, the vulnerability shows the phishing site disguised as a normal remnant site. Then the login credential input by the victim is linked to the attacker's phishing server. The attacker can collect sensitive information from the leaked credential. Kim's case known mailing toolkit mail on the ok.php was also used in this operation to send spear phishing mail. The IP address of wallet.inf.esy.es was often used by Kimsky Group for other phishing operations. The title uses provocative words such as urgent, notification, and application, but the body of email just contains only one simple sentence. These are meaning erroneous sending mails or mail being restored or error. This can make people who read these mails just pass it. But behind these simple sentences, 
the vulnerability causing HTM and ML injection that connects to the article's phishing server is hidden. This code loads JavaScript file on the attacker's server with the victim's ID and the name of the victim organization as a parameters. HTML injection is executed by analytics.js, which is called first. Next, bootstrap.js executes and loads a phishing page that mimics the victim organization's email login page. When a user enters a login credential and attempts to log in, the entered key values are sent ga.js along with the cookie values. After that, the attacker logs into the internal mail system through the stolen login, login credential and access sensitive information such as VPN access information and server access account. Then, Download and execute a reverse shell on an internal server that the attacker can access to. Perform lateral movement using a red collected server access account. account. The attacker was able to access quite a few internal servers, not only Windows, but also Linux servers. For persistence, download and Execute web shell, reverse shell, and seed malware through Metapreter's CNC server. The web shell is a JSP file. The attacker sends the base64 encoded command to the web shell using the, using the STR parameter. The execution result is output to a web page by the println function. Create the default account as a member of the administrator's group. As you already know, the account named default does not originally exist on Windows. Then create malwares and tools with administrative privilege. The tools identified were port scanner, putty, and SQL coring tool. The first malware installed is driver-driver.cfg. This malware was identified as Apple Seed. After that, download the cassi blah blah dot cassi file below. The downloaded cassi blah blah dot cassi downloads the code through socket communication and executes to it in memory. The malware finally executed was identified as a metasploit interpreter that makes a reverse connection. Next step 7, the attacker transfer the compressed files that contain various source code and research data in the controlled server to an external CNC server using FTP protocol. Next eighth step, additional spear phishing to insider using webmail information appreciate. Actual accounts obtained through Phishing attack were abused to carry out further attacks, targeting internal researchers and engineers. To increase the trust of the receiver, the email account representing the internal information security team among the stolen account was abused for the attack. It was disguised as an attachment related to the contents of the antivirus update by abusing the security notice during the instant response. Masquerading as the v3 vaccine right version update installation file, the installation screen is displayed when running, but the decompressed model is self-deleted, replicated, and registered as a service and execution in the background. Next, correlation analysis using offset file of Apple C. As we saw earlier, we look at various Morial samples in Operation Utah. Among them, we found a bug in the processing of analyzing the CNC communication method of the Apple C backdoor. It is impossible to know whether this bug is the code that the Gimsky group intentionally implemented. 
but it can trigger the code from the outside. So command injection and arbitrarily command execution are possible. Using this bug, we were possible to continue tracking the Apple State Genesis server operating with the same code. In the case of Victory, it was a string used as a password for web share and FTP authentication in the past. And the same string was found in the Apple State server side code. It's an example of command execution result using command injection. As a result of continuously tracking and monitoring the server using OPSEC fail, we hunted the Apple Seed app targeting Android mobile device user from in the wild. Alias name of Kimsky Group is also known as Talium. In the Apple Seed code of the Kimsky group, we found that the string Talium representing their threat group name was used in the code. Maybe they wanted to be called by Talium. Talium string used in server-side code to communicate with Apple Seed for Android. Also, there are cases where the string Talium is used as a parameter that can trigger command injection as described above. As a result of comparing the past and recently used Apple Seed, the code related with command injection, which can be called the existing bug or patch. And for factors E, F, G, H, other than A, B, C, D, have been added. Finally, it's a conclusion. Kimsky Group is a threat group that has been actively conducting cyber threat attack from the past cyber terrorism of KHMP to recently various research institutes. Through the Operation U-turn case, we looked at the butterfly effect case of the attack by the Kimsky Group, which started with a simple account takeover phishing that many people can easily overlook or take lightly. A link attached to a simple phishing email could trigger a vulnerability. And it was a case of performing letter movement to an internal server, abusing sensitive information in the email. The incident response and analyzed related public data like OSINT were combined to provide a clue to tracking the threat group. Of course, since data is used after the incident, there are clearly limitations in taking preemptive response. However, as a result of trying various methods to overcome this limitation, the bug in Apple Seed CNC communication was found. And based on this bug, we are able to actively track the Kimsky group after or since the threat group that forms the attack is also human. There are cases where mistakes are made in operation or development as in the example described above. For the threat hunter who tracks and analyzes, it is worth paying attention to this mistake because it becomes a clue or a point to take a preemptive response. Through the combination of TTP identification using attack metrics and active tracking method for attackers, the completeness and maturity of threat intelligence can be increased. And I think it will help to take preemptive response. I hope that the sharing of this research result will also be helpful to many people who are information security community. Thank you for listening.